Hey, I'm Richard Bird, and I'm here on the set of the Alter Eco House. Today, we're gonna show you some really cool artwork, and uh, I gotta get ready for a party, so I'm gonna turn it over to Shane Gufong. Hi, my name is Shane Gufong. We are in Los Feliz, California. This is a fundraiser for Pharmaca. Pharmaca is a nonprofit organization in downtown Los Angeles. It's an uh, art gallery. And this is also the first LEED Platinum certified green home in Los Angeles. So, I'll give you a little tour. This is a painting by Stanley Dorfman. He is, he's gonna hate me for saying this, 81 years old, still going strong, making these beautiful abstract paintings. And this is one of my paintings called The Other Side. Underneath movements are what creates the patterns so that it's almost like the subconscious creating its own consciousness. This is a piece by a dear friend of mine named Christopher Monger. Makes his living as a film director. This piece, because he's a filmmaker, I always look at this as like a strip of film that is showing a landscape that is repeating itself. This is a piece by Luke Rothschild. What Luke likes to do is he takes found objects and soaks them in salt water and then places, him, places these objects on, on these environments and lets the rust pass through onto the object so it makes an imprint of what, of what the object is. And on this particular piece, then he went back in and painted uh, circles. They're almost, I, I, it's like some sort of machinery, almost like, you know, I mean, they have a, a mechanized process, but yet are completely abstract. This is a piece um, by Alison Van Pelt. It's oil on paper. She does these paintings. I'm not quite sure how she does them. There's a certain magical mystery to them where she paints and then she blurs with these very soft brushes so they become almost like a blurred photograph. This piece here is another one of mine titled Retrieving the Fine. I started wondering what thoughts might look like before language was attached. And I literally started taking ribbons and throwing them and however they landed, I wanted that moment of chance. And so that became the origins of these, the whole series of paintings which I titled my ribbon paintings. This is a piece by John Skein. It is a painting of a mahogany tree and the frame is actually mahogany wood. So we did a whole series of trees where he would paint the trees and then frame them in the actual wood uh, that they were depicting. So this is David Buckingham. It's called Color Study. He actually goes out daily to the um, junkyard. He's doing this abstract study, uh, almost like abstract hard edge expressionism, but through found objects. So we thought that, <clears throat> you know, here we have the wood, wood, found objects. There's certain elements that tie into the house. Here's another Mark Azzatelli painting titled Wish. Again, these figurative haunting shapes, forms, as he scrolls, writes, looks like he has the word dad, and the word wish is spelled out. I'd say that these are very much about memory, loss. Here we are in the master bedroom. This is a piece by an LA artist named Joe Good. In the 80s, he moved um, out of town to a ranch up in the Sierras and started painting forest fires and trees. And so this is from his tree series that I own. Here is another piece of mine. This one is titled To and Fro. I literally took one canvas, painted an image, and then smashed it up to the other so it left an imprint and then took them back apart again, so then I created this mirror image, and out of the mirror image, then I photographed it, and allowed that photograph and the documentation going through a mechanical process to become the patterning. So that's the uh, art tour of the uh, Richard Bird's home here on Dundee, a beautiful house, and today is that uh, we're doing a fundraiser for Pharmaca, and I want to thank Richard Bird for allowing us to use his home. This is really pretty spectacular. And it also gives us a way uh, through the art community to help bring attention to and celebrate the first Platinum Green home in LA. I think it's such an important thing to do. One thing about Pharmaca we're trying to do downtown is through arts and culture and through the awareness to create, help to create more of a sustainable community. And so Pharmaca is located at 101 West 5th Street in downtown Los Angeles on the corner of 5th and Main. Um, we have monthly art walks the second Thursday of each month. If you're around, please come down. It's a very exciting event. We usually have anywhere from five to 7,000 people wandering around the streets, and it's a celebration. So thank you so much, appreciate it. And I'm gonna head back this way because the party's beginning.